Hey everyone, and welcome back to News to Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. I'm bringing you another amazing Marvel Spider-Man 2 video. We're going to talk about what kind of comic book stories Insomnia Games is looking to adapt for Marvel Spider-Man 2. A lot of people have their own preferences when it comes to Venom stories, but as soon as people heard Kraven's voice in Marvel Spider-Man 2 trailer, people were jumping to Kraven's Last Hunt, one of Spider-Man's darkest comic book storylines of all time. Naturally, I think think the same and of course I'd speculate about what we could expect in the forthcoming sequel. So before I get started I want you all to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss videos like this. I post videos every day typically around 12 p.m. Eastern time so calculate whatever time zone that is for you. I live stream on Tuesdays and Sundays 8 30 to 10 30 p.m. Eastern time both on my YouTube channel and Twitch and solely on Twitch on Thursdays at the same time. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description box below along with the links to my discord and social media instagram and twitter enough of that shameless plugin let's talk about what storylines insomnia games can adapt from marvel spider-man 2. you know i've been really thinking about what stories insomnia games could possibly adapt this past week in fact and honestly it can go in several directions insomnia games seems to be heading in their own direction when it comes to venom but that's not to say that they won't take any cues or easter eggs from the comics and put them in the game one of the Spider-Man's darkest storylines, Kraven's Last Hunt, seems like an obvious choice to adapt from Marvel's Spider-Man 2, but honestly, I think that's way too easy, and one can assume that's the direction Insomnia Games is going. I think Insomnia Games could simply draw inspiration from the stories such as Kraven's Last Hunt, Ultimate Spider-Man, where the symbiote is more of a science experiment to cure cancer rather than an alien host that we know from the Amazing Spider-Man comics, Venom number 156 through 158, in these issues, Craven's on the hunt for Venom, and Craven can't be killed. Even Venom Dark Origin, a comic series in my opinion that's quite overlooked. In that series, those issues kind of contradict much of Eddie Brock's backstory as portrayed in the Amazing Spider-Man comics. With Harry Osborn looking to be the primary host of the Venom symbiote, there's really no telling what direction Insomniac Games is looking to take the character. As for Kraven, I'm not sure if Insomniac wants to make the bold move in killing Kraven, just like he did in Kraven's Last Hunt by taking his own life. I doubt Insomniac Games wants to give any of these Spider-Man villains the permadeath treatment. I'd love to see a Marvel's Venom spinoff in the horizon, and with Marvel's Wolverine on the way, the possibility of a Venom spinoff is on the table. That's only wishful thinking though. But you let me know your thoughts. Do you think any of the comic book storylines can be adapted into the forthcoming sequel, or will Insomniac Games give their own spin by creating a new story altogether? I think I prefer an original story, one we haven't seen before. I'm really open to that idea. But you let me know in the comments section, what storylines would you like to see adapted from the comics, or do you prefer an original story? Do you think that maybe the Lethal Protector storylines from the Venom comics could be possibly adapted into Marvel Spider-Man 2. That's only assuming if Venom ends up becoming the anti-hero, the lethal protector that we know from the comics, that is. And hopefully, Insomnia Games gets to do a spin-off for Venom, pretty much giving him the Miles Morales treatment. Now, I wouldn't say make it like a DLC type of game, like kind of like how Miles Morales was sort of DLC, even though that game was about 12 hours long. But I would love to play as Venom in 4K 60 FPS quality, we're talking like probably the best looking Venom game there is. I mean, there's not even really a Venom solo game, but a Venom solo game would be amazing. Like we definitely need a Venom solo game. The last time we even got to play as Venom, at least like in an open world is basically Ultimate Spider-Man for the PS2. You guys probably played that game before, those of you who are viewers right here on my channel, but I wanna see Venom in his monstrous form, like, like basically in an HD, 4k form having a venom solo game would be everything to me and i'm sure that insomnia games probably has a venom solo game cooking but anyways those are just my theories that i just wanted to share with you guys what sort of storylines could we possibly be getting in marvel spider-man 2 all i know now is that 2023 cannot come sooner and i'll definitely be pretty much first in line to get my copy of marvel spider-man 2 Let's hurry up 2023. Everybody try to stay alive at least by 2023 or at least by the launch of Marvel Spider-Man 2. Okay, everyone. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a bit of a short one, but I really want to get a conversation going. With Insomnia Games' announcements of two games in the PlayStation Showcase, who knows what projects they could be working on. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, 
and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss anything. And I will see you all in the next comic panel.